The generation of Jade has begun. And I don't think it'll ever end. The following contest is a no holds barred match. Making her way to the ring from Chicago, Illinois, Cora Jade. Cora Jade has called herself the savior of the women's division. Look, Jade isn't here to play games and make friends. She's here to face the best of the best and take them down. She certainly doesn't suffer from a lack of confidence. Cora Jade is hoping to make a statement here tonight. And that statement is, you can't handle the generation of Jade. One of the hardest working competitors in all of NXT. Representing the Creed Brothers from Knoxville, Tennessee, the NXT champion, Ivy Nile. Nile's already proven to be an extremely hard worker and one of the grittiest competitors around. As tenacious and vicious as they come. Yeah, Ivy Nile's bite is much worse than her bark. Yeah, but her teeth are sharpened and she's looking for a win. This may be cliche, but Ivy Nile proves it's not the size of the dog in the fight, but the fight in the dog. And there's only one rule in a no holds barred match. Pinfalls or submissions have to happen in the ring. Apart from that, this match is anything goes. I have to admit, I'm a sucker for the traditional pinfall submission rules, but in a no holds barred match, tradition flies right out the window. Turnbuckle's the only thing keeping her upright. Showing some extra scouting, knowing how to answer a counter with a counter of your own. safety when you toss them to the outside like that. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Oh. Ooh, what a forearm club. Ooh, merciless looking blow. Jay must be phased after this string of action. And bit by bit, Nile chipping away at the competition. Looking for something, anything under the ring. I don't know why there's a hockey stick under the ring, but I know they're going to use it. I have to think that a no disqualification match favors the most heartless competitor in the ring. That'll teach her to waste precious time in the ring. Ooh, she responds with a counter. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. Shades of the OEC dog as a kendo stick is introduced to the proceedings. The advantage is turned toward Ivy. Corey getting knocked back at every turn. Nice hip toss. I'll just leave it at this. Nobody comes into a match hoping to get chucked around like that. How are they going to hear after this match? I think rage took over in that moment. Nothing but blind rage. position here. Unleashed. She could pin her opponent right here. Kick out before the one count. Well, she thought she saw a chance to gain the fall, but obviously was mistaken. Oh, what a strike to the back. A steady stream of moves taking out Nile. Cora continues the assault. Blasted by a forearm. The cover. She's quick to get her shoulder up. Anyone who thought this would be over quick has another thing coming. <laughs> Look 
be worse for wear in the corner now. Ooh. Ooh, a vicious shot right to the dome. Oh, and Ivy caught her. And Kravat sits there. Is it time to fade? Oh, well, right hands, and that'll create space and separation. All the way up and down. Can she do it here? And there's the kick out. Not getting a two count at this point has to be frustrating. Jade thinking she can close this one out. Telegraph that one and delivers a blow to the gut. She wants to take this one outside the ring, it seems. He's got that back, but I don't think she's hitting dingers. Oh, I hope they back up. They're, they're getting too close for comfort. Oh, no one's paying attention to you, Saxon. They're too busy beating the tar out of each other. And the damage is just going to keep on coming if you can't find the defense for this. Needs to find an escape. The elbow is the pass. 
Oh, she's up to no good. As the brass knuckles. Went for the brass knuckles, able to duck underneath. She flips it back on her. Kick to the gut. Cranked around into a neck breaker. And it looks like she wants to take this match outside. A steel chair. She's 